So I had a lot of exposition at the opening of this video, and then I lost about five times and decided that that is not how this mission is, is allowed to go. I, I cannot open with that. That's incredibly disgusting. Because it's stupidly easy for the game to kill you here. And I keep trying to micro, but I'm not used to the, these controls because they're very different from the controls of the rest of the game. That said, uh, the ease at which these guys can end your life in the opening of this sequence is ridiculous. She's and when I say I'm ridiculous, I mean, She's here. back! Yes, I'm Where back, and I'm ready to her. Good. More fools for the slaughter. <laughs> Looks like an old invoice concerning the damage I caused the last time I was here. So many billions of yen, but still they dare to rebuild this place. Had your chance to run. Kill everyone. Locate the elevator down to Shimada's private lab. Okay. There are three false locations. Actually, no matter what order you do this, this is going to happen. We can't stop her! She's too powerful! I am. That's not the point. Those psychic inhibitors are preventing me from using my powers. When you go into one of those psychic inhibitors, she can still they use her psychic you. powers to destroy, but she cannot use her psychic powers to do anything else. That's what happens when you act like an idiot and don't make sure you stay out of that until you're done killing people. I have to go back here where I know it's safe. Uh, Thankfully this doesn't take long. <sighs> okay. I wanted to get my uh, Uprising playthrough done before I started working so that I could try to focus on something else altogether. Crap. Holy crap. Yeah, don't fuck with the King Oni, folks. Those things do not want to around. You kind of are, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was amazing. Oh! Anyone catch the license plate on that tank? No! 
Yes. <laughs> Don't ever do something like this. <laughs> it seems you know, they've invested I... in psychic inhibitors this time around to try and dampen my psionic talents. We'll see how that goes for them. <laughs> Maintaining their military presence and order without support from somebody. So they've been trying to rely on um, Future Tech's help to make that happen. And Future Tech has been fighting very eagerly, but Future Tech is also, as we've seen in the Soviet campaign, these guys pretty hardcore. Looks like, you know, Future Tech is trying to play the Good Samaritan and get the Allies thinking they're on the up and up when in reality they're trying to support them. The Commander's Challenge is actually very good for explaining quite a bit of this. As the Commander's Challenge, basically the one little story dialogue you get for that This is. must be the Trauma Center. I bet I can fill it with bodies. What the Allies have basically been trying to do is... Wow, those guys killed each other, okay. Is use Future Tech's mercenary muscle to help them maintain their forces. And it's worked, but it seems to have also come at the cost of Future Tech gaining the ability to really demolish and screw over the Ally, uh, or to really crush the market in terms of cash flow for research. Beautiful! You shouldn't have come back. Now... Now I have to stop you. Keep trying, Yuriko. One of these elevators must be the way. He's blown up the elevator. I need to find another one. If that don't reek of desperation... Oh, the Wave Force artillery is too heavy.
right now. Please be safe. Please be safe. Please God be safe. Okay, now that we've had that screw up, let's go back there and actually do that right. Because what I should have done was walk into that field, walk right back out, fire off my psionic scream, and then blow it up. I'm gonna have to load a check. Oh. I guess I'm loading that checkpoint. Well, that's what I get for not being careful. Thinking you're invincible can very easily get you killed a lot. Oh. I really need the health upgrades. I should behave a little bit better about that when I have the opportunity to hit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that hurt. No, 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 no! Fuck that ninja! Bunch of military grade gear from this place went missing in the Sakhalin Islands. Someone's gonna be in trouble. Hmm. That's strange. AI a moment to realize he'd switch sides again. <laughs>
Such fear lingers here. This must have been Izumi's cell. Folks, I lost a skittle. Come, follow me. Why are you doing this? I stopped you too, and I'll stop you too. Do you really think anyone will let you go? Do you really think I care? Don't give up. You are almost dead. Ugh, he did it again. There must be another elevator. I know one of those shinobi, but screw it, I don't care. Double-edged sword for allies because on one hand they kill a lot of things almost instantly that you run into during her campaign, but on the other they tend to also die just as easily themselves, and all it takes is another shinobi. Not even worth my time. I eat you into your. Head. My friends. Okay, so let's go back over here real quick. Ambush. That's okay. Even on hard mode, this particular mini campaign does not demand too much skill from you. Oh, I have another point to spend. Let's max out my telekinetic slam. Izumi's old report cards. Survivability, A plus average. Focus, B plus average. Discipline, A minus average. Power, S average. Interesting. back a little bit and get some help. 
Man, I get the crap kicked out of me when I play this game. Do you enjoy shanking yourselves? A detachment of Imperial Archer Maidens volunteered to provide extra security here in exchange for psychic training. Assuming that even works. Clicks. <laughs> this clicking is real. Dr. Gregor Zelinsky, considered to be an expert in relativity and physics and a complete nut job. How do he and Dr. Shimada know each other? Hmm. Good question. Wondering, that is that that is neither elaborated on nor explained. Earth upon <laughs> they ate up my shinobi, but I expected that. to keep your minions, your AI controlled minions alive because if you do, you will find yourself wasting an awful lot of time. Uh, when I go out of my way to top them off, that's basically just to maximize the use I'm going to get out of them before they do die. That's literally it. by how resistant I become to physical harm and to physical pain. Apparently, they've taken quite an interest in trying to find my breaking point. Mm. I wonder why, Yuriko. Yurika, 
You are so close now. Shimada, this is getting tiresome. He won't seal himself in. Seek out the last elevator. Oops. Yep. Fourth floor, super weapons, psionic commandos. There's not really much else to say right now. Oh. Something attracted their attention. Oh, that! They set up a blue bomb assault. That was cute. King on the brigade's attack! Big mechanical a hole. No, you're not hitting me like that again. Oh my god. The coding area is overrun.
Phew! Alright! donors to this facility and an invitation to some sort of banquet. Now, how come I didn't get an invitation? How come I didn't get an invitation? I love you. This must be where they do the cloning. There could be hundreds of me. Got the full health on us. My shield is as strong as it's gonna get. I expected that to be another damn trap. sweep around this area to make sure I have everything. Make sure that my health is at its peak. Alright, looks like it is. Alright, let's go. You're going too far, Yuriko! There's no use in hiding. Rocket Angel, suit it up! We are almost united, Jericho. You... You have no idea what you've done. I created both of you. You are one and the same. You both crave power. When I am gone, there will be no one to protect you anymore. about that, folks. Come on. Oh, 
little too early. Jesus, he takes a while to kill. There goes Dr. Shimano. I'm free. I am finally free. Oh, thank you. Before Shimada imprisoned me, before he tried to control me, I was the strongest, and I will be again. After all I've done for you! Actually, damage her with your psycho. So you have to rely on just picking shit up. I've been through hell to find you. Easy, me betrays her in the end. This is kind of where her campaign really starts. do now. This is agonizing. What did she do now? She doesn't know what to do. And that does it for Red Alert 3 Uprising. These, uh... What can I really say about this? The, like, the review that I could really give is, is for this series is... A lot of the stuff the Soviets get isn't really that helpful to them in this. At least not nearly to the level of usefulness that you get out of a lot of the allied units. Although it does still help, you know, fortify what they're already good at. I don't feel like it does it in the appropriate way. The Rising Sun forces did get a little bit more of what they needed, which is some sturdier units and some more powerful uh, things to resort to, with how glassy a lot of their other stuff tends to be. When it comes to Yuriko's campaign, this is kind of why it ended up sucking. The ending to her campaign doesn't go anywhere. It, it doesn't do anything interesting. It, it, uh, it just doesn't... It doesn't do anything particularly meaningful with her. It doesn't promote any sort of character development or growth at all, and I know it's only three missions, but that's still... Like, she doesn't really grow at all. She just kind of destroys everything that made her and everything that got her to where she was today and ends up killing her sister because her sister turns out to be a power-mad, revenge-driven bitch. Revenge for basically envying Yuriko for being the favorite because she was more powerful, apparently. But Yuriko at the peak of her strength is too much for easy. It, it would have been nice for this game to go somewhere besides that. And another thing, that was medium difficulty on that boss, folks. Uh, this Yumiko's campaign is not really much more difficult on hard mode. 
because she died about that quickly and about that easily for me on easy, and I was uh, I was jacking around even more than I did there because I, didn't, I, I wasn't quite used to how fast the recovery uh, cooldown on her slam ability was. The final boss to her campaign isn't really that interesting either because. All she does is basically mind control and summon Imperial Shinobi from out of nowhere until she can occasionally throw something at you, and neither of you can really directly attack each other through your psychic fields, so you have to rely on more indirect methods. Well, her indirect methods, first of all, suck ass, and secondly, she's made out of tissue paper compared to Yuriko, and doesn't carry all of Yuriko's abilities. She does carry some, but not all of them. It also doesn't explain anything, ultimately, about Yuriko's final fate. It just says, well, I blew up the lab and killed everyone who was experimenting on me, but uh, I've got a whole bunch of clones lying around somewhere in the facility that I found. Do I want to go back and get them, maybe? Uh, I've got nothing. I, you know, I mean, I pissed off the allies, I pissed off future tech. I feel like her campaign shouldn't have been a mini campaign. I feel like it should have been a full-length seven to nine mission campaign that really fleshed out Yuriko as a character and really helped you see her as a character. Uh, one thing I will definitely say that I like about this campaign is the series of mini campaigns that you deal with in here are fantastic for skill building. You really have to learn how to micromanage your, your forces, how to micromanage your units, how to get the most out of what you have. Even on medium difficulty, it can put you through your paces like crazy if you don't know what's coming. And sometimes, even if you do, it can still trip you up, it can still do a lot of damage to you, it can still leave you weak. Because the AI may pull certain strategies out of its hat that you really don't expect it to use just to get you. The AI in this game does tend to change its tactics as the late game approaches and it gets more funding and better tech, which is something that a lot of AIs in games need to learn how to do. And I was going to do StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. I don't really know if I'm going to do that on, uh, on the hardest difficulty. I might do it on hard mode. But... I tried doing it on Brutal, and the idea behind it is uh, is completely mastering every possible orthodox and unorthodox dynamic between every single unit, every single structure, any strategy you can rely on. And that's cool because that can really show off a lot of skills that the game taught me or that I had to learn for myself. But it also sucks because... I really don't know what else to do with it. So, uh, oh, sorry. So, if I end up doing Wings of Liberty, and I'm going to see if my recording equipment can handle it, I'll try and put out missions over this slowly. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully, I'll have something a little better waiting for you. And I'm hoping to use this, this LP as a learning experience. It's been done a million times, I know, but uh, I'm trying to use it to learn how to do this better. Thank you all. I'll see you next time.